This is wild country, 18,000 square miles of it in Rhodesia's remote northern region. It is peaceful country, uninhabited by man. The soil is fertile, but this is land with a problem. Over it broods the spectre of the tsetse fly, carrier of trypanosomiasis, the dreaded sleeping sickness. Once cleared of the fly, this land could support hundreds of thousands of African families. There is room for the wild game too, in three huge game reserves. The problem, to resettle the game that carries the blood-sucking parasite. It's a long job, 10 years perhaps, but it is being done by Rhodesia's Ministry of Internal Affairs and the Department of Wildlife Conservation. Well, you were worse than the elephant. Every time I say stick to the jest, I see a nose come out into the mapani and back again. <laughs> Next time the elephant will pop out. A 500 mile game fence has been stretched across Rhodesia's wildest corner. The game must be pushed back behind it. Race camp, we have spotted the same herd we saw yesterday, the herd we were looking for. Leave for the airstrip immediately. Roger Paul, over and out. Elephant sighted! The men who volunteer for this work are equipped with enthusiasm and cool courage. There are no precedents. They plan their own operations and evolve their own methods. vehicle on him goes around with Norman. With Norman, he knows this track. Well. And um, I'll get into position. I don't want him to go past the first, um, Jeff. We'll get airborne and we'll guide you in. Today, it is elephant. Luckily, a spotting has been made early. Now the various teams must be placed in position to drive the herd towards the game fence. Their tools are three Land Rovers and an aircraft fitted with a police siren. Checking the riverbed for tracks, Paul. I don't know uh, where there's this at this stage. The droppings are warm. The elephant cannot be more than 15 minutes ahead. Uh, Roger, I'm moving off now. Let's get into a lower gear to start with. Right. Looks like you're really stuck now. Uh, Roger, moving. The Land Rovers must begin to close in now on either flank. Round one, look out. They're just ahead of you through the clearing. Keep them going in a straight line, but watch out for those straight cars. Roger, Roger, It takes fine judgment to decide just where, along the fence, the elephant will break, and split-second timing to have a gap prepared for them. Careful now. Watch out for that car. She's got a car with her. Watch out. She looks dangerous. Hey, 
there's a little one left behind. The elephant cow with a calf at heel is not the friendliest of creatures. She backed down at last though, and in her panic, left the little one behind. Well, not so little, but completely helpless. If abandoned, this baby elephant wouldn't last a day among the lion and the hyena. They're tough men, these rangers, with a job to do, and they can't afford to be late getting into position at the fence. But they haven't the heart to leave the little fellow behind. This is going to twist a little bit. Return him to the herd and hope you'll find his mother. Drop him and get out of here. the babies with its mother. It's a good day's work, but only one day's work in a 10-year plan. 18,000 square miles of fertile Rhodesian bush country lies asleep here, sprawled out under the sun, waiting for the seeding, planting, tilling hand of man. Gradually, the wild animals are being pushed back, and the tsetse fly with them. Step by step, the fence will be moved in a tightening noose until the elephant and vast herds of other animals are confined in game parks accessible to the tourist. Already, 40,000 African families are planting crops in areas cleared in this way, and many thousands more are waiting to exploit this rich earth. Good news, chaps. Well done. We'll see you back at the Estrip for tea.